chapter 11, Jeremiah chapter 11. <clears throat> the broken covenant. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and speak unto the men of Judah, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And say, though unto them, Thus said the Lord God of Israel, Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant, which I commanded your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt, from the iron furnace, saying, Obey my voice and do them, according to all which I command you. So shall ye be my people, and I will be your God, that I may perform the oath which I have sworn unto your fathers, to give them a land flowing with milk and honey, as it is this day then answered I said so be it O Lord then the Lord said unto me proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem saying hear ye the words of this covenant and do them for I earnestly protested unto your fathers in that the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt even unto this day rising early and protesting saying Obey my voice, yet they obeyed not, nor inclined their ear, but walked every one in the imagination of their evil heart. <sighs> Therefore I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant, which I commanded them to do, but they did not, they did them not. And the Lord said unto me, A conspiracy is found among the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They are turned back to iniqu the iniquities of their forefathers, which refused to hear my words, and they went after the other gods to serve them. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant, which I made with their fathers. Therefore thus said the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape, and though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Then shall the cities of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods unto whom they offer incense, but they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. For according to the number of the cities were thy gods, O Judah, and according to the number of the streets of Jeru Jerusalem have ye set up altars to that shameful thing, even altars to burn incense unto Baal. Therefore pray not though for those people, neither lift up a cry or a prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. What had my beloved to do in my house? seeing she had wrought lewdness with many, and the holy flesh is passed from thee. When thou doest evil, then thou rejoice it. The Lord called thy name a green olive tree, fair and goodly fruit, with the noise of a great tamud. He had kindled fire upon it, and the breaches of it are broken. For the Lord of hosts that planted thee had pronounced evil against thee for the evil of the house of Israel and of the house of Judah, which they have done against themselves to provoke me to anger in offering incense unto Baal. And the Lord had given me knowledge of it, and I know it. Then thou sowest me their doings. But I was like a lamb or an ox that is brought to the slaughter. I knew not that they had devised, devised devices against me, saying, Let us destroy the tree with the fruit thereof, and let us cut them off from the land of the living, that his name may be no more remembered. But, O Lord of hosts, that judges righteously, that tries the reins in the heart. Let me see 
Thy vengeance on them, for unto thee that have I revealed my cause. Therefore, thus said the Lord of the men of Anth and Anathoth, that seek thy life, saying, Prophesy not in the name of the Lord, though thou die not by our hand. Therefore, thus said the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will punish them. The young men shall die by the sword. Their sons and their daughters shall die by famine. And there shall be no remnant of them. For I will bring evil upon the men of Antithoth, even the year of their visitation. Chapter 12 Jeremiah's Complaint Righteous art thou, art thou, O Lord, when I plead with thee, Yet let me talk with thee of thy judgments. Wherefore doth the way of the wicked prosper? Wherefore are they all they happy that deal very treacherously? Thou hast planted them, yes, they have taken root. They grow, yes, they bring forth fruit. Thou art near in their mouth and far from their reins. But thou, O Lord, knowest me, thou hast seen me, and tried my heart toward thee. Pull them out like sheep for the slaughter, and prepare them for the day of the slaughter. How long shall the land mourn, and the herbs of every field wither, for the wickedness of them that dwell therein? The beasts are consumed, and the birds, because they said, We shall not see our last end. The Lord answers Jeremiah, If thou hast run with the footmen, and they have wearied thee, then how canest thou contend with horses? And if in the land of peace wherein thou trusted, they wearied thee, then how wilt thou do in the swelling of, the Jor of Jordan? For even thy brethren and the house of thy father even they have dealt treacherously with thee, yes, they have called a multitude after thee. Believe them not, though they speak fair words unto thee. I have forsaken my house, I have left my inheritance. I have given the dearly beloved of my soul unto the hand of their enemies. My heritage is unto me as a lion in the forest. It cried out against me, therefore have I hated it. My heritage is unto me as I spoke speckled bird. The birds round about are against her. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field, come to devour. Many pastors have destroyed my vineyard. They have trodden my portion underfoot. They have made my pleasant portion a desolate wilderness. They have made it desolate, and being desolate, it mourned unto me. The whole land is made desolate, because no man laid to heart. The spoilers are come upon all high places, through the wilderness, for the sword of the Lord shall devour from the one end of the land, even to the other end of the land. No flesh shall have peace. They have sown wheat, but shall reap thorns. They have put themselves to pain, but shall not profit, and they shall be ashamed of your revenue because of the fierce anger of the Lord. Thus said the Lord against all my evil neighbors, and that touched the inheritance which I have caused my people Israel to inherit. Behold, I will pluck them out of their land and pluck out the house of Judah from among them. And it shall come to pass after that I have plucked them out, I will return and have compassion on them, and will bring them again every man to his heritage, and every man to his land. And it shall come to pass if they will diligently learn the ways of my people to swear by my name. The Lord live it as they taught my people to swear by Baal. Then shall they be built in the midst of my people. But if they will not obey, I will utterly pluck 
and destroy that nation, said the Lord. Chapter 13 The Ruin Loincloth Thus said the Lord unto me, Go and get thee a linen girdle, and put it upon thy loins, and put it not in water. So I got a girdle according to the word of the Lord, and put it on my loins. And the word of the Lord came unto me the same second time, saying, Take the girdle that thou hast got, which is upon my loins, and arise, go to Euphrates, and hide it there in a hole of the rock. So I went and hid it by Euphrates, as the Lord commanded me. And it came to pass, met after many days, that the Lord said unto me, Arise, go to Euphrates, and take the girdle from thence, which I commanded thee to hide there. Then I went to Euphrates, and digged, and took the girdle from the place where I had hid it. And behold, the girdle was mared. It was profitable for nothing. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Thus said the Lord, After this manner will I mare the pride of Judah, the great pride of Jerusalem, this evil people which refuse to hear my words, which walk in the imagination of their heart, and walk after other gods to serve them and to worship them, shall even be as the girdle which is good for nothing. For as the girdle cleaveth to the loins of a man, so have I caused to cleave unto me. The whole house of Israel and the whole house of Judah said, The Lord, that they might be unto me for a people, and for a name, and for a praise, and for glory, but they would not hear. The jars filled with wine, therefore thou shalt speak unto them this word. Thus said the Lord God of Israel, Every bottle shall be filled with wine, and they shall say unto thee, Do we not clear, certainly know that every bottle shall be filled with wine? Then shalt thou say unto them, Thus said the Lord, Behold, I will fill all the inhabitants of this land, even kings that sit upon David's throne, and the priests and the prophets and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem with drunkenness. And I will dash them one against another, even the fathers and the sons together, said the Lord. I will not pity, nor spare, nor have mercy, but destroy them. Exile threatened. Hear ye, and give ear. Be not proud, for the Lord has spoken. Give glory to the Lord your God, before he caused darkness and before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains. And while ye look for light, ye turn it unto the shadow of death, and make it gross darkness. But if ye will not hear it, my soul shall weep in secret places for your pride, and my eye shall reap sore, and run down with tears, because the Lord's flock is carried away captive. Say unto the king and to the queen, Humble yourselves, sit down, for your principality shall come down, even the crown of your glory. The cities of the, the south shall be shut up, and none shall open them. Judah shall be carried away captive, all of it. It shall be wholly carried away captive. Lift up your eyes and behold them that come from the north. Where is the flock that was given thee, thy beautiful flock? What wilt thou say when he shall perish thee? For thou hast taught them to be captains and as chief over thee. Shall not sor sorrows take thee as a woman in travail? And if thou in thy heart wherefore come these things upon me? For the greatness of thy iniquity are the skirts discovered and thy heels made bare. Can the Euphium change his skin or the leopard his spots? Then may ye also good do good. 
that are accustomed to do evil. Thereafter will I scatter them as the stubble that passeth away by the wind of the wilderness. This is thy lot, the portion of thy measures from me, said the Lord, because thou hast forgotten me and trusted in falsehood, therefore will I discover thy skirts upon thy face, that they shame, thy shame may appear. I have seen thy adulteries and thy navings, the lewdness of thy whoredom, and thy abominations on the hills and the fields. Woe unto thee, O Jerusalem! Wilt thou not be made clean? When shall it once be? Chapter 14, Jeremiah chapter 14, Famine, Sword, and Pestilence. The word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah concerning the dirt. Judah mourn it, they, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground, and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. And their nobles have sent their little ones to the water. They came to the pits and found there no water. They returned with their vessels empty. They were ashamed and confounded and covered their heads. Because the ground is chapped, for there was no rain in the earth, the plowmen were ashamed. They covered their heads. Yes, and the hen also calfed in the field and forsook it because there was no grass. And the wild asses did stand in the high places. They snuffed up the wind like dragons. Their eyes did fall because there was no grass. O Lord, through our iniquities, testify against us. Do you do, do though it for thy sake, namesake? For our backslidings are many. We have sinned against thee. O the hope of Israel, the Savior thereof in time of trouble. Why shouldest thou be as stronger in the land and as fair wearing man that turneth aside to tarry for a night? Why shouldest thou be as man a stone, stony, as a mighty man that cannot save, yet thou, O Lord, art in the midst of us, and we are called by thy name, leave us not. Thus said the Lord unto his people, Thus have they loved no to wander, they have not refrained their feet, therefore the Lord doth not accept them. He will n now remember their iniquity and visit their sins. Then said the Lord unto me, Pray not for this people, for their good. When they fast, I will not hear their cry. And when they offer burnt offering and an oblation, I will not accept them. But I will consume them by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence lying prophets then said i i the lord god behold the prophets say unto them ye shall not see the sword neither shall ye have famine but i will give you assured peace in this place then said the lord unto me the prophets prophesy lies in my name i sent them not neither have i commanded them neither spoke unto them they prophesy unto you a false vision and a divination, and a thing of naught, and the deceit of their heart. Therefore thus said the Lord concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I sent them not. Yet they say, Sword and famine shall not be in, the land, in this land. By the sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. And the people to whom they prophesy shall be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem because of the famine and the sword. And they shall have none to bury them, them, their wives, nor their sons, nor their daughters, for I will pour their wickedness upon them. Therefore thou shalt say this word unto them, Let my eyes run down with tears night and day, and let them not cease for the virgin daughter of my people is broken with a great breach, with a great a grievous blow. If I go forth into the field, then behold the slain, 
with the sword, and if I enter into the city, then behold them that are sick with famine. Yes, both the prophet and the priest go about into the a land that they knew not. Has though utterly rejected Judah, had thy soul lauded Zion? Why has thou smitten us, and there is no healing for us? We looked for peace, and there is no good, and for the time of healing, and behold trouble. We acknowledge, O Lord, our wickedness, and the iniquity of our fathers, for we have sinned against thee. Do not abhor us for thy name's sake. Do not disagree the throne of thy glory. Remember, break not the covenant, thy covenant with us. Are they are there any among the vanities of the Gentiles that can cause rain, or can the heavens give showers? Art not thou he, O Lord our God? Therefore we wait we will wait upon thee, for thou hast made all these things. Chapter fifteen The Lord will not relent. Then said the Lord unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be towards this people. Cast them out of my sight, and let them go forth. And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them. Thus said the Lord, Such as are for death, to death, and such are as are for the sword, to the sword, and such are as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. And I will appoint over them four kinds, said the Lord, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. And I will cause them to be removed into all kind kingdoms of the earth, because of Manasseh, the son of Hezekiah, king of Judah, for that which he did in Jerusalem. For who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? Or who shall bemoan thee? Or who shall go aside to ask how thou doest? Thou hast forsaken me, said the Lord God, Thou art gone backward, therefore will I stretch out my hand against thee, and destroy thee. I am weary when repenting, and I will fan them, fan them with a fan in the gates of the land. I will bereave them of children. I will destroy my people, since they return not from their ways. Their widows are increased to me above the sand of the seas. I have brought upon them against the mother of the young men a spoiler at noonday. I have caused him to fall upon it suddenly, and terrors upon the city. She that had borne seven languished, she had given up the ghost. Her son is gone down while it was yet day. She had been ashamed and confounded, and the residue of them will I deliver to the sword before their enemy, said the Lord. Jeremiah's Complaint Woe is me, my mother, that thou has borne me a man of strife and a man of contention to the whole earth. I have neither lent on usury nor mint, have lent to me on usury, Yet every one of them doth curse me. The Lord said, Verily it shall be well with rem thy remnant. Verily I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well in the time of evil, in the time of affliction. Shall iron break the northern iron and the steel? Thy substance and thy treasures will I give to the spoil without price, and that for all the sins even in all the borders. And I will make thee to pass with thy enemies into a land which thou knowest not, for a fire is kindled in my anger.
which shall burn upon you. O Lord, thou knowest, remember me and visit me, and revenge me of my persecutors. Take me not away in thy long suffering. Know that for thy sake I have suffered rebuke. Thy words were found, and I did eat them. And thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. For I am called by the na thy name, O Lord God of hosts. I sat not in the assembly of the mockers, nor rejoice. I sat alone because of thy hand. For thou hast filled me with indignation. Why is my pain perpetual and my wound incurable, which refuseth to be healed? Wilt thou be altogether unto me as a liar and as waters that fail? Therefore, thus said the Lord, if thou return, then will I bring thee against, and thou shalt stand before me. And if thou take forth the precious from the vile, thou shalt be as my mouth. Let them return unto thee, but return not thou unto them. And I will make thee unto this people a fenced brazen wall, and they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee, for I am with thee to save thee, and to deliver thee, said the Lord. And I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked, and I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible.
Your peace.